Hey guys, how are you? So I'm going to show you my updated hotkey menu right now. So this is hotkeys I have programmed on Chart Trader on IBKR, and I'll show you them real quick. So basically, I use some of these M keys on my keyboard. Can you see that? M. M. So these are like uh, extra hotkeys that are on the keyboard and basically you can program them to press two keys at once, right? So I have this one programmed to shift L and this one programmed to shift K and those are basically the ones I use. It's, it's, um, that's the hotkey. So if I press shift L, it's going to trigger a sell stop with a stop and this one's a buy stop with a stop. Now also, I also programmed it to do control and that button at the same time. That's the same exact trade but with a limit order. So again, it's sell stop, buy stop, and then that's gonna be sell limit, buy limit with stops attached, that is, okay? So these two buttons are to prone the trades with stop attached. Now again, I don't attach a take profit because we discussed that in a different video, but there will always be an attached stop. All right, and then the rest of the keys I use are, are things gonna be like uh, shift B, shift S, shift T for transmit, and then shift Q and shift W for stop losses. So they're all pretty close. And I'll, let's go over those in the menu right now. So here you can see buy stop with a stop, sell stop with a stop. Those are those two main keys. And it's set to M1 and M2. All right, then you can see there's also buy stop and sell stops on their own, which are set to shift Q and shift W. Just showed you that as well. And then, like I said before, holding control and pressing M1 and M2 at the same time is going to set up the same as trades as these ones, attaching a stop 10 points away, but in a limit order instead. And just a quick note, all of these orders that have stops attached have the apply offset to parent feature selected, which means that wherever the order gets filled on the buy stop or the sell stop, it's going to attach a stop order 10 points below it. Sometimes I go and adjust it afterwards, but usually I'll just keep that stop in there. It just gets put exactly 10 points away from where the order got filled. All right, so, so far we've covered buy stops with stops and we've covered buy limits with stops. I also have a couple hotkeys here to buy the market or sell the market just in case. And I barely use those ones, but that's just like for emergency. And so if I need to emergency exit the position, I'm gonna set control S, although that will rarely happen, but still it needs to be set to a button anyways. We've got increase the limit price and decrease the limit price set to back quote and one. I use these to basically move around the orders in the chart and I'll show you that in a second here. And then I have increase and decrease size, but generally these are not really used because my size is always predefined. And then finally, I have a couple of limit orders here set buy limit at the bid minus 10, which would be a, a, a command I would use to set a take profit on a sell trade. And this would be the equivalent, but for a buy trade, a sell limit at the ask plus 10 points higher. So just the, the equivalent of setting in a take profit, but set to shift S or shift B in that case. So let's go ahead and demonstrate all of these hotkeys for you on this chart right here. So anything to do with shift is gonna give me an order. So shift B is gonna program a buy limit 10 points below the price. Shift S is gonna program a sell limit 10 points above the price. Let's get to those M keys. So if I hit M1, this is the button I hit to get into a short trade. Generally, if I wanna stop into a short trade, and I'm not gonna talk about how stopping in is better than limiting in, because that's a different topic, but that's an example of a sell stop to get into a trade with an attached stop. And then we have a buy stop to get into a trade with an attached stop, and I would certainly not wanna buy a 10,000 right now, but you never know. <laughs> And then we have things like the equivalent trade I just showed you, but in a limit order instead. And with the attached stop and finally buy limit with the attached stop. And then we of course have buy the market and it's gonna appear at the bottom here and then sell the market. That's gonna appear at the bottom here. And of course we have individual stop orders. So if I hit, I think it's shift Q, I have shift Q set to that sell stop order. So if I need to put in an extra sell stop order and then shift W set to a buy stop order. If I had to say now, show you on my keyboard, which hotkeys I'm using the most, I use these two the majority of the time to get into a trade. I use shift C to cancel an order, shift T to transmit the order. But in terms of the orders I use to trade, we have that one for a sell, this one for a buy, and then shift Q for a sell stop and shift W for a buy stop when I need to add in an extra stop order to put in a break even, for example. All right, guys, so that's gonna be it for this video. Quick video. All right, guys, you're the best. Ciao, bye.